All right, guys, so quick RC update today. So what I've got for you is some good and some bad news, but ultimately I think what I've discovered is gonna lead us in a better direction and ultimately improve the end result of this project. The main thing I've done is I've tested the motors with this setup, and that was the first thing I wanted to do. So what I did was I just dumped all the electronics here in the floor plate and I gave it a test. What I wanted to test was you know, how much torque are these things realistically going to deliver in the current configuration? And I wanted to see if there would be enough just to get the thing moving. So what I did was I set it up here on the bench. I had it moving forwards and backwards. You know, one of my biggest assumptions going into this was that these would hopefully deliver enough torque from a standstill to at least get the car moving until it gets up to speed. But one of the things I noticed immediately was while it can get the car moving, and I had it going back and forth here on the bench, what it was doing was getting really hot, and I could smell them as well. And obviously these things are quite pricey, and it's one of the reasons I don't have footage of it as well. Uh, I don't want to risk burning up the parts. So I think based on what I found in the real world, if I'd have taken that out and just blasted it, you know, and put it through its paces, I think these would have burnt out really, really quickly at least in this current configuration. I had to think about this over the weekend and I think that it doesn't really make sense to continue with this design just for the sake of completing the project or completing this version of the car. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pivot and I'm gonna go straight to Raptor 2. I'm just gonna start development on Raptor 2, which is gonna incorporate everything I've learned from this version. There are a lot of problems I can solve just by adding gearing and placing these motors up on the chassis. As some of you were rightly pointed out, you know, with the motors mounted here uh, in the hubs of the wheels, that adds a lot of unsprung mass and ultimately flaws your suspension setup. So anything below the spring, it isn't benefiting from the suspension. It's just taking the impact and you want to avoid that. The idea of the suspension is to absorb all that shock, not to damage your parts. And I think these motors have these little bearings in them you can see here. And I'm not really sure how long they would last in this configuration, especially if they took a really hard bump, you might cause some damage to those. And you really wanna try and isolate that from the impact, which is the whole goal of suspension really. So with version two in mind, I think the main challenge we're gonna face here is how do we effectively position the motors up here somewhere on the subframe floor plate so that we can have gearing and effectively have a drive shaft to deliver the power to the wheels. So I think that's gonna be interesting and I'm gonna to have to make this kind of area up here more of a housing as opposed to what it is now, which is just a frame type of design. So I'm trying to eliminate having them here because I'm trying to minimize the amount of parts I need. So typically with an RC setup, you have a big uh, motor here with a gearing system and drive shafts to deliver power to the wheels. I wanna try and eliminate this part of that system so I want to have my motors mounted up here on the floor plates. I think that'll also give us a better distribution of weight across the car and might also result in more traction as well at the wheels. So I'm thinking maybe I do a bevel gear or a standard kind of gear system where we have the two motors mounted up here somewhere. So you know whether one's this way and the other's this way and then we have the gearing. I'm not too sure yet but I'm going to play around with that. Some of the next videos you're gonna see from me are gonna be testing this motor out in, in a gearbox kind of situation. I'm just gonna mark up a probably five to one ratio, see how it performs, attach the wheel to it, and just see if it's even gonna be worth it. I have seen other people use a single power source like this to drive all four wheels. So I think it's pretty promising, I think, if I have four motors. One thing I wanna emphasize and one thing I'm gonna to stick to is the all wheel drive approach, right? I love that whole idea. And I think it really adds something different to the RC community as a whole. Typically, you know, you, you do get four wheel drive RC cars, but they're driven by a single motor usually, which isn't true four wheel drive. Um, what I want is all wheel drive. So I want the, I want each wheel to still have its own power source. I'm still gonna be able to do what I plan to do by measuring the speed of these using a sensor have all that fed back to a computer system that manages it all for you. I also want to tackle some other issues. One of the biggest ones is caster. I currently don't have caster on here. So as I steer the wheels, you know, the pivot points are directly above one another. So it has zero caster. 
that has a lot of issues in itself when you're handling. So that's something I want to do. And in order to achieve that, I'm going to angle the suspension arms backwards a little bit to give us that positive caster. And that should give us that little bit of tilt in the wheel as we rotate. So that's something I'm going to do in version two. So that's a brief update on the car. There's a lot of changes that are going to go on here. It's going to delay the project a little bit, but I'm not too bothered about that. You know, I'm learning a lot. I'm learning the important things. And I think ultimately it's only going to improve the end result. And the goal is to just make this thing less wrong over time. So if I can actually get this working with gearing and all wheel drive, I think we're onto something good here. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.